Hello and welcome to Neil's Han Dynasty. Like, share, and subscribe. Buy silver and platinum. And be kind, helpful, and grateful because hell, there ain't nothing else to do. Uh, see? Dixie's being grateful. She's being grateful and loving and very vocal. Yeah, I hear you, honey. But we aren't talking to you right now. What we're doing is we're talking about hypocrisy in the highest. Uh, everyone knows what happened to the former president in Mar-a-Lago and the classified supposed documents that were, you know, in a, a, a secure location because if the pre ex-president's living there, he's got secret service. So it's somewhat of a secure location. And our supposed president now, Joe Biden, left some classified documents, lots of them, boxes of them, in an office that doesn't have secret service in it that he doesn't live at it's just an office somewhere somewhere he left classified documents oh i never read them anyhow here's the story classified documents has been discovered by aides to president joe biden at a new location the first batch of highly classified documents from the obama administration was discovered in the office joe biden used after leaving office. Sky News Washington correspondent Annalise Nielsen joins us now live. Annalise, where were these discovered? Now he said after he left office as vice president. That means as vice, former vice president, he had highly classified documents and lots of them taken away from us. It's the exact same as Trump, but he's not getting persecuted like Trump. Well, NBC has broken this news that a second batch of documents have been found. The details are still waiting to be released about exactly where, but this is part of a greater accounting of the documents left behind by Joe Biden in the period in between him leaving office as vice president and then running for the offices, office of the presidency and then taking on that role as well. This is quite critical in the timing of this because there's still a question of when he took this office in Washington, D.C. at a think tank and left what was discussed to be the first batch of highly classified documents. There was a period of time there, so those documents must have moved somewhere else before he took over that office. And the question is exactly what's in those documents. They've been handed over now for inspection by the US attorney in Chicago. But one of the other critical factors here is are there more? So this seems to suggest that there are more. We don't know whether they might be relating to uh, international security, whether it might be domestic security, but this is a concern. And this is something that Joe Biden was forced to respond to yesterday when he was at the North American Leaders Summit in Mexico, when he was asked about the first batch being discovered. And he said he was surprised. They found some documents in a box, you know, a locked cabinet. I was briefed about this discovery and surprised to learn that there were any government records that were taken there to that office. Okay, so he's vice president, it's his office, and he doesn't know what goes in and out. Man, so that means he was a daft when he was Joe, when he was Joe, uh, uh, Barack Obama's uh, vice president. He was a daft son of a gun. Once again, this has come through a leak to journalists and not from the information shared by the White House. This has been huge political fodder for Republicans, especially who've been highly critical of the raiding of Donald Trump's home at Mar-a-Lago. He kept a much more significant amount of highly classified documents, but nonetheless, it's not much comfort for any American or global citizen to know that these documents are being, le being left around by anyone. Global citizen? What's a global citizen? Hmm. New world order. Might all democratic countries and their peoples be one known as global citizens? Hmm. I'm going to have to research that. 